Woohoo! Hey, what's up, Red Fam? Today we're gonna do my first impressions of the Big Agnes Copper Spur two person bike packing tent. That is right, big reveal. Darren and I bought a new tent and we're super excited to give it a go. But where is the tent? Where is it? Well, we gotta go get it, so let's go. Oh my goodness, this is exciting. We got the tent, we got it. All right, let's figure out how we can affix it to the bars. And let's get rolling. Oh, there it is, Copper Spur, HV, ultralight bike pack. Two person. When he first handed it to me, I was like, ooh, that feels kind of heavy, but I also think it's because I'm a little fatigued, like I sprinted here. It's, it's definitely lighter than our other one, obviously. It's, it's two person, so. Yeah, uh, let's get this on here and see how it goes. We got the tent, so let's get it off the bike and let's talk about it. All right, here she is, the Big Agnes Copper Spur Ultralight 2 Bike Pack Tent. So if you're new here, this is the Rad Bike Adventure and I am Ryan, I'll be your host today. And this is the channel where we talk about all things bike touring, bike packing, and anything bike lifestyle related. So if you're into that sort of thing, consider gently tapping that subscribe button. Today we're talking about the new Big Agnes Copper Spur Ultra Light 2 Bike Pack Tent, which basically means it comes with shorter poles and a few other little features for the bike packer in mind, including this little handy dandy sack that is meant for you to just throw it on your handlebars and get away. So let's set this up and then we can talk more about it. By the way, this is a true first impressions, right? I, like, I literally just, oh my God, the wind because I just got this back from the store. This is the first time I'll be setting it up. Wish me luck. And yeah, I'll just give you my thoughts and opinions about it. As many of you know, my partner and I traveled around the world for over a year and we used the Big Agnes Copper Spur Ultralight 3, just regular tent, no bike pack version then. And we absolutely loved our tent. I will post our other review that we did up here so you can check that out but uh, we were in the market for a new tent and I did a bunch of research and I just kept coming back around to the copper spur and we just wanted something that was going to be a little bit more streamlined just for the two of us for bikepacking adventures so let's set it up like two two different little packages here so the poles are in this guy and let's see is there a way to I guess I could just leave it in there ha still in the plastic see no joking, first time I've ever seen it. Okay, wow. Some, huh, so tiny. There they are. So the main difference in comparing the bike pack version to the regular version, uh, these poles are a little bit shorter. These are seven inches around by 13 and a half inches long. And the regular copper spur is 19 and a half inches long by six inches around. So this is really nice that I'm gonna be able to fit these in our bags a lot more easily. One thing I am noticing is that this sack that it comes in is really, really durable. It's a little bit heavier weight probably than I would like. So I wonder if we'll just like take that as it is or maybe get like a Z-Lite Z pack for it. Uh, it's a really nice case. It's very, seems really well made, but definitely uh, a little thicker and heavier probably than we need. This is like a little latch here. Just undo that. Just undo that and then that's how it comes open. So it's kind of interesting. It has like a little flap over the top. Okay, cool. There it is. Already the material, the material feels a little bit different than our other tent. I think that they did update the material a little bit. And I was really trying to decide between this one and the tiger wall. 
and I just decided the copper spur treated us so well and the tiger wall is semi freestanding. It is a little bit lighter weight, but I really, we like to go for durability uh, just cause we, we know that we want things to last quite a long time. Okay, so there it is. This is ripstop nylon, the fly and the floor. There we go. Shake it out. Cool. Yeah, definitely it's crunchy. <laughs> as all these ultralight things are. Wow. Yeah, this definitely feels like a different material than the other tent. There it is. And kind of check out some of this stuff. Yeah, the same, the usual quality that I would expect from Big Agnes. Okay, let's get it set up. Whoa, rapid fire. I guess the one thing to consider is that there's gonna be a lot more there's a lot more joints now on this, but it seems to put itself together pretty quickly. Kind of spider leggy. <laughs> I know, look at how fast it goes. This one has a bend, a bend in it. Our other one didn't, didn't really have that. And you guys see, at first I was like, oh my gosh, it's bent. It's got a little bend coming across it there. We didn't get a footprint yet, but we will do. the stakes and this little satchel here. I think they improved the stake design too, I heard. These are, these are super tiny. Wow. Really, really lightweight. Emergency field repair splint, that comes with it as well. Okay, so I also just noticed that there is extra guy line in here for the tie-outs to uh, make sure that you can stake it down in the wind. And I will see, we'll definitely make note of how it performs in the wind with a longer term review. And there's also these little guys here. I'm guessing this is to uh, further secure your fly to the body of the tent. You can kind of see there, they, they are a unique kind of shape. And they, I mean, this ground is pretty soft here, but they've really dug into the ground super easily. So yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm liking these so far. All right, so here it is. Let's, uh, let's do, let's take a little look-see, shall we? All right, first thoughts, definitely smaller than the three person. I mean, obviously. But yeah, I can see what people mean when they're like, it's a, it's a tight squeeze for two adult adults in there. <laughs> I'm gonna lie down in a second and give you a view of it. First, let's talk about a few of the stats. Obviously you can see that it is a two door tent. It is freestanding. And this one is $500. Uh, retail right now REI is actually having a sale that's why we bought ours 20% off so you know save $100 right there and the regular tent of this version the non bike pack version is uh, is $50 less so that's kind of interesting this is also a little bit heavier so this tent is uh, if you hear if you hear children playing it's because there's like a soccer practice going on <laughs> soccer practice going on over there this tent is three pounds eight ounces six ounces heavier than the regular one. I don't know if that has to do with some of the extras that they've kind of fitted on here or like the way the poles are, but yeah, six ounces heavier, but I really do like the idea that it's gonna pack down really small. Um, just for reference, I mean, I know we had the three person tent, but it was quite a big size with all the poles. And this is our three person tent fit in here. And uh, it's pretty squashed in there and that's not including the poles. The poles are sticking out of this bag. They don't, they kind of fit. You have to really mash them in there. Let's see if I can show you. These poles are 20 inches long for the three person. So there's that. Uh, you can see it's quite a difference. A little tricky, a little tricky with the zippers, but the, I feel like that's all tense, isn't it? Okay, and I only have it staked out in two corners. Let's take the helmet off. <laughs> oh, I got the helmet on for the whole video. There we go. Let's see. Okay, so we got some pockets up here, which is really nice. Always need pockets. I've got my jacket and my tripod. No worries. It's a pretty, it's a good size pocket. It would be nice, I think, if there was separate pockets. I did like that in our other tent that we each had our own separate pockets up here. But you do have the side pocket for yourself at the bottom here. So that's, that's nice. And then this is really great here. I love this big kind of gear catch that they've got. I've seen other people putting their helmets in there. Yeah, I could definitely see doing that or some wet gear 
Also a little toggle here, a little toggle there too. But yeah, this is this is a really nice feature. I, I do agree though, I saw someone else say that, that it would be nice if there was a pocket up in uh, in the corners there. What's this? Oh, so you can have your, have your headphones coming through there. Does anybody ever use that? Speaking of helmets, there is this little helmet strap feature, which I don't know, it seems a little silly, but I suppose you can just do that and have your helmet stay there. Yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll use it. It is off the ground. So I don't know, we'll see if I'll use it or not. There's also these door keepers on both sides. Something that I am noticing about this material is that it feels a lot silkier. Like this is not so crunchy as our other tent. It feels very, very silky. I like that, that that's a nice, that, and this is a different material down here. This is the more robust nylon, but whatever they're using to do this, maybe it's a softer nylon, but yeah, it's very, very soft. I'm five feet, four inches, and I'm gonna lie in here and let's get an idea of what that looks like. So yeah, if I was one person, this would be super, super comfortable. Like this would be a really nice one person roomy tent. You could have all your gear in here, but with the two of us, it's definitely gonna be a little tighter. Whoa, oof. did we tip over here? It's definitely gonna be a little tighter, but again, we have a two person sleeping mat, so I'm not too worried about it. If I'm all the way at the head here, you can see, got a good amount of space still at my feet. I think that's plenty of room. Darren showed up. She just got back from work. I was like, come see the tent. Oh, that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Plenty. And I think like, I, I can even, even, yeah, if you like it. sleep on your side, you're gonna be totally fine. Yeah. yeah. But if you're too, six foot people that are wide. Mm. Yeah, it'd be a little cozy. I mean, it's yeah. a two person tent. I feel like tents are always like that. It's always like a, on the mm -hmm. cusp. On the cusp. Because you're trying to make it efficient. Mm -hmm. For a longer tour, it was nice to have a lot of space and be able to keep all our gear in here. But for bike packing, kind of shorter trips, I think this is gonna be really great. And I just love that it packs down smaller too. Okay, let's get the fly set up. All right, now we got the fly on. I uh, set this guy up. And yeah, just again, it, it just feels silkier than our tent. A, a little bit thinner material. So that is nice. I, I believe that Big Agnes has done some new research and so they've found a material that uses less material and it's actually lighter and more durable. So that is really cool. Still a good amount of vestibule space. So I can have my sandals in here, maybe a couple bags, whatever you don't want to bring in with the tent with into the tent with you because obviously the space is going to be a little bit more of a premium because it is a smaller size. But yeah, I was talking about the color coordinating and it's like pretty idiot proof. So it's all the silver stuff is on this side, right? Like even there, silver. And then on the other side, it's all the orange stuff, orange and orange. That's really nice. So you can't mess it up. Yeah, look at this guy. Oh, it's so shiny and new. Oh my gosh, I love it, it's so fresh. Okay, I'm, I'm really motivated to get out on a ride now. <laughs> we gotta schedule something. What do you have scheduled? Put something on the calendar. Let us know here, we'll make you accountable. Here's the vent hole, just like we have on our tent. So one thing to note is that if it's raining, this needs to be closed. You're gonna get leaking through here if you don't if you don't close that. So make sure that's closed if it's raining. But if not, that's where you have your ventilation coming from. And we always found it to be completely sufficient. We never felt stuffy or had problems with condensation. Okay, yeah, so this is the part where they're saying you can you can stick gear under here to dry and whatnot. Yeah, I don't know, I might use it because I do hang my, my underwear up and stuff like that, like shirts. I could see if it's a sunny day like this. I mean, obviously just use the tent in general, but it's nice to put those smaller things like socks and underwear that would fly away or slip off otherwise. So. Yeah, again, some people maybe think that's a little bit gimmicky, but yeah, it's a little piece of cordage and I think I might use it. Uh, we'll let you know if we do. Just as most tents, you had this option to go up and now you also have this option to unzip this up. So check this out, right? It's like this little square flap. Oh, the wind is gonna help me, thank you. And you can lift this up and have like a little awning area, which is super cool. Cause we were saying that like we wanted to travel with a tarp but now if you just have this awning set up, like I said, I think you could flip your bike over and do it that way. Maybe I should give it a go. All right, so here's what I've got set up right now. Check it out. It works. I think that obviously you would, uh, you need to have like a brake stopper because I just have it looped around the, the valve stem right now. But if you just need to stop your brake and then you could attach it to both wheels. You could do it that way. Check it out. Yes. <laughs> it works, it works. Makeshift awning. That's nice, right? 
Heck yeah. <laughs> Don't mind the trash can I was using that to, to help me film. <laughs> Everything is uh, vagabond style here at the Rad Bike Adventure. Yeah, I like this. It's very, very, it's very, very nice to have a little kind of shade space or it's just more open because obviously when you have if you have this down you feel like a little bit more like claustrophobic in here and if you have it opened all the way you're completely exposed so this is kind of a nice somewhere in between spot and again like you could make it more taut and and do a better job if you if you had some paracord or if you have like a brake stopper so you could get your wheel to stay in one place then it would work a lot better but hey it does work with your bikes folks it works so another reason we chose the copper spur over the tiger wall is because the doors open on the same side and the tiger wall has this like re weird reverse door thing where your door opens this way for the head but then the fly opens down at this end and at first we were like oh that wouldn't be so bad but then the more we thought about it we're like no that would be really annoying and just because we know the copper spur and we really like it we're like let's just try a smaller version that's made for bike packing why not and so far, I think this is gonna be a great tent for us. What do you guys think? Do you think this is a good tent? Would you consider the Copper Spur? If you are, you should think about getting one now if you're an REI member, because they have 20% off. That's how we got ours. I'll put a link in the description, of course. All right, so there it is. I guess one more thing to talk about is what does this tent look like when it's on the bike, right? I showed you the little capsule that it comes in. Well, let's see what it looks like on the bike. So we're gonna go back to Pastran and uh, they're gonna tell you what they think about it being on the bike. So let's go. Um, I just kind of quickly strapped it on here, but I just cinched those down really quickly. And hey, you're, you're ready to go, ready to jump out for the weekend. I like that really, really quick attachment system, super easy. And yeah, so far, I mean, you can see I'm kind of wiggling the bars around. It's not really coming loose at all. You could also hook stuff in there if you uh, had some carabiners. And that's another option. That's another nice feature there. You could also probably snug some things into, into these little under straps too, which is really cool. Plenty of room. And it's not even really centered right because I got this here. But plenty of room and yeah, really stable on there. So good stuff from Big Agnes for that. And just that the poles are small enough that obviously you can do something like that, right? They're not like 20 inch long poles like our old Big Agnes copper spur was. All right, back to you, Ryan. Okay, I'm gonna read you a few more stats on this tent. Actually, hold on, I found this, this paper. Um, what'd I do with it? Oh no, it's in, is it in the bike? We're gonna find it in this sweet frame bag. And you guys are probably also gonna ask me, you're also gonna ask me, how did I like riding the ULTD? Well, I loved it. It's such a fun bike and I'm a little bit jelly. I still love my Sutra, but man, this is a fun bike to ride and I'm loving it with these, these smaller, more narrow wheels. They feel really, really good on the road, actually. I'm, I was impressed how, how good they felt, especially on some of the smoother tarmac. It was like, man, they just roll so easily. Okay, so here's what it came with. I'm just gonna show you some of this stuff. So I feel like this is always nice to have this information. So this is the poles that it comes with. This is these DAC poles, dirt digger, dirt digger tent stakes they did go in really really easily so uh yeah these are lighter stronger protect patent pending construction yeah so far i like them they went in super easily they're really really small i can't believe how tiny they are and i also noticed that this these little clips are smaller than on our tent as well nice little reflective bit so you can find your tent at night there as well i did find that useful okay so here's the information that we've got here so this is the comparison between the UL1, UL2, and UL3 bike pack. So you can do the little comparisons there. But like I said, the UL2 bike pack compared to the UL2 regular is six ounces heavier and $50 more. Again, you're getting those smaller poles, which is so huge for a lot of us doing bike packing because it's very, very hard to figure out where to fit your poles. All right, so thanks guys for watching that video. Hopefully you found it helpful. My very, very first impressions of the Copper Spur Ultralight 2 bike pack tent from Big Agnes. I think it's pretty nice. I'm really excited to give this a go on some future trips that we've got planned, some little overnighters and things. I think it's going to be a good piece of kit for us. I'm looking forward to using it. If it's anything like our Copper Spur 3 person that we took around the world, then I know it's gonna be a really nice, dependable tent. So thanks guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up, because that helps the video. Really appreciate that. And I hope you have an awesome day out there and remember to rat on. Bye.